Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on factoring out common terms. And to give it kind of an algebraic look, if we have some quantity A times another quantity B plus some quantity A times another quantity C, that's the same thing as pulling out this A from both of our terms and making it A times the quantity B plus C. Okay? Uh, this is provided that A, B, and C are not equal to zero. Okay? So you can't really pull out a zero um, from something. So um, this is provided that A, B, and C are not equal to zero. So what exactly are we talking about? Let's go through a couple of examples. Example number one. Okay? So example one, I have x squared plus two times x. Okay? X squared plus two times x. Um, and so what we're looking for when we're factoring out common terms is something that's present in both of these terms. Okay? Well, x squared is actually x times x. Okay? We're talking about two times x. Okay? Well, if I look at it this way, I can see that I have both, I have one x, at least one x in both of my terms. So I can take that and actually pull it out and just multiply that by what's left. Okay? So I've got an x here and an x here. So I'm going to take x, which represents both of these x's, and take it times x plus 2. Okay? So it's as simple as that. You see something that's common between the two, and you move on to identifying that and pulling that outside, and it's whatever we pull out, in this case x, times whatever was left, x plus 2. Okay? In our next example, I've got 14x plus 7y. Okay? 14x plus 7y. Now, you probably already noticed that x and y are completely different variables, so we won't be pulling out a variable. But let's look at the 14 and the 7. Is there something that, that is a common factor of both of these? Yeah, yeah, 7. Because 7 times 1 is 7, and 7 times 2 is 14. So in this case, we can factor out the term 7. Okay? So this is really, 14 is 7 times 2 times x, plus 7 times y. Okay? So when we factor this out, I'm going to identify what I'm factoring out, and that comes out front, and what we're left with is 2x plus y. And that is completely factored. 